CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions 6 through 10. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 6. A user notices slow internet speeds on their workstation and suspects that background service connections might be consuming excess bandwidth. Which of the following command line tools should the IT technician employ to examine network connections on the workstation? The answer is C. Netstat. The Netstat tool, short for Network Statistics, provides essential insights into network activity. It displays active connections, routing tables, and interface statistics, aiding IT technicians in diagnosing network issues efficiently. With Netstat, administrators can monitor real-time network traffic, identify any unusual activity, and check routing configurations for connectivity problems. Question 7. In a university's computer science lab, students are discussing the different types of operating systems used in various projects. One student mentions the need for a closed-source operating system for a proprietary software project they're working on. Which of the following operating systems would be the most suitable choice for their closed-source project? The answer is D. Mac OS X. Mac OS, previously known as Mac OS X or OS X, is Apple's proprietary operating system for Macintosh computers. Being proprietary means that its source code is closed and not freely available to the public. This closed source nature gives Apple exclusive control over its development, ensuring tight integration with its hardware and software ecosystem while limiting user modification and distribution capabilities. Question 8. In a community library equipped with public computers, patrons have complained about a sudden decrease in computer performance. Upon investigation, the technician discovers that the CPU is running at full capacity, despite antivirus scans showing no signs of infection. What is the most probable cause of this issue? The answer is B. A cryptocurrency miner is verifying transactions. In the context of cryptocurrency, transaction verification involves confirming and validating transactions on a cryptocurrency network. In mining, this process includes solving complex cryptographic algorithms, or mathematical puzzles, to add new blocks of transactions to the blockchain. These calculations require a substantial amount of computational power and can cause the CPU or GPU to operate at maximum capacity for extended periods. Consequently, affected devices may become sluggish or unresponsive. Question 9. Which of the following would be used to secure mobile and embedded devices from known exploits? The answer is C. OS updates. OS updates play a critical role in safeguarding devices against known exploits by addressing vulnerabilities discovered after the initial release of the software. These updates include patches that fix identified vulnerabilities, along with security enhancements like improved encryption protocols and authentication mechanisms. By closing exploitable loopholes and keeping pace with evolving threats, updates ensure devices remain resilient to attacks. Question 10. A system administrator is configuring a new Windows 10 workstation and wants to enable a screensaver lock for security purposes. Which of the following options within Windows settings would allow the administrator to accomplish this task? The answer is A. Personalization. Within the Windows Settings menu, the Personalization section serves as a hub for customizing the visual aesthetics and functionality of the Windows desktop. This comprehensive toolkit allows users to tailor various elements to their preferences, including screensavers. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button.
This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.